Mr. Bob Arum. Brought to you by Geico, this bout is scheduled for six rounds in the heavyweight division. Our judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham, Max DeLuca, and Patricia Morris Jarman. And the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Mike Ortega. Introducing first out of the blue corner, presented in association with Antonio Leonard Promotions. He weighed in at 246.1 pounds, wearing blue trunks with red trim. He brings a perfect record of six wins, no losses. All six victories coming by way of knockout from Toledo, Ohio. Jared, the real big baby, Anderson! Across in the red corner, he weighed in at 229.6 pounds, wearing white trunks with black and silver trim. He brings a record of six wins with only one defeat. All six victories coming by way of knockout from Oxnard, California, Luis Eduardo Peña. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. Both of these heavyweights have stayed active over the past year. As I mentioned, Jared Anderson fighting for the fourth time here in the MGM Grand Bubble. Luis Pena has now fought five times. This will be his sixth fight over the past 12 months. And even though he's coming off the first loss of his career, a guy, as Manouk mentioned, with punching power. Both of these fighters with six wins, both six knockouts. And Manouk, you mentioned it, but neither have been really tested in terms of distance as this one scheduled for six rounds wouldn't be surprised if we don't get anywhere close to that well judging by the statistics we're not <laughs> anderson's fights have lasted a total of 11 rounds so far so that's a total in six six fights 11 rounds so if anyone's knocking on the door right now asking for candy you might want to stick around and watch this fight <laughs> As they both come out swinging, Anderson back on the rope. Luis Pena, his seven pro fights, has only fought 15 rounds. So kind of combined 26 rounds between the two of them. As you see the big wide stance, the big bodied Anderson, a guy who was a two time U.S. national amateur champion. And decided to forego the opportunity of competing in the 2020 Olympics when we were going to have the 2020 Olympics and turn pro. And now at age 20, you mentioned it, Manuk, but has really taken advantage of this bubble situation, fighting for the fourth time here and landing that big overhand right, starting to make a name for himself as the punishment is being delivered at the hands of Anderson. Luis Pena curling up and taking it and gets hit with another left hook. Yeah, he's already putting it on Pena right now because he stopped him in his tracks. Pena went, put his backs on the ropes, and he was taking the punches, and Pena's not throwing back right now. This doesn't look good already 90 seconds into this fight. Anderson's having a field day. Back-to-back -back left hook and overhand right Pena. Not even throwing punches, just taking it from Anderson. A huge left hook from Anderson lands. Pena wobbled with 1.15 to go here in the first round. Pena completely outmatched so far as Anderson just continues waiting for referee Mike Ortega to step in. Ortega, a long look at Luis Pena as he backs into the ropes again. This does not look good for Pena. He might as well be a punching bag right now for Anderson. Anderson stalking, going down to the body, back-to-back -back hooks, a warning from Ortega on the low blow, back to the body with the jab from Anderson, and it's just all big baby Anderson here in the first round as Luis Pena just trying to get to the bell. You gotta do something, kid, you gotta do something. You hear the voice of Ortega, the referee, saying, Pena, you've got to do something. He has not done anything. Why Ortega has let it go this, go this far, I have no idea. This fight could have been stopped a minute ago. Pena is wobbling around. Absolutely no reason for this fight and to continue. It, it ends about a minute and a half late, but it ends with what was inevitable from the first punch. Jared Anderson. Maybe Anderson!